Pasadena police are beefing up security at the Rose Bowl tonight for the Coldplay concert, all because of the Las Vegas concert attack. CBS 2's Randy Page, who covered the massacre, is live in Pasadena to tell us about increased security there. Randy. That's right, Pat. You know, a lot of people who have watched the events in Las Vegas are taking a look at some of the hillsides surrounding Pasadena here at the Rose Bowl and kind of wondering, thinking about the Mandalay Bay. It is worth noting that the Mandalay Bay Hotel is much closer to the venue there than these hillsides are to the Rose Bowl. And another very important point is that the Rose Bowl is a ring of concrete that protects people going to the con who are going into the concert. So it is a much different situation there. That said, the events of what happened in Los Angeles are clearly on the minds of a lot of people. We spoke to Rich Freeman from Flagstaff, Arizona, and he shared his thoughts with tears in his eyes. I think Las Vegas will go through our minds for a long time, but that's not going to prevent us from uh, enjoying life and, and knowing that everybody's doing everything they can for safety. Every man, woman, and vehicle going into the Rose Bowl is being carefully screened today with the help of metal detectors and bomb-sniffing dogs. After all, Coldplay is in town, and an estimated 60,000 fans are expected to show up tonight to see them. What do 60,000 fans look like? Every day. Like this. This is the popular alternative rock band when they played the Rose Bowl last year. Anytime you put 60,000 people in one place, security is a big concern. And less than a week after the most lethal mass shooting in recent United States history, it's top of mind for police in Pasadena. I think we always worry about a copycat type of situation, no matter what incident occurs. Pasadena Police Lieutenant Art Schutz says extra security precautions are on hand, and police will be watching from the air and on the ground. You'll see more police officers, both armed police officers and security outside the Rose Bowl. They always say that. Paul Wertheimer is a concert security expert who began studying the issue in 1979 when 11 people died in a stampede at a WHO concert in Cincinnati. Wertheimer says an evacuation plan is critical, and he didn't see much one in the cell phone video from Las Vegas Sunday night. And I saw nobody is helping the crowd. Where's the emergency plan? There isn't a standard of care across the board. We don't know which venues are safe. In venues like this, it's when people are going in or out within the, where they are the most vulnerable. That's why they are being asked, they are being asked to bring cases like this where you can see through it. Why? Because they can go through security very quickly just by taking a quick look at it as they go through the magnetometers. We're going to take a quick walk over here to give you an idea what those magnetometers look like. You can see they're kind of standing around. Why is that? Because it doesn't open until 5, 5.30. That's when they begin letting people in. 60,000 people, we got a long way to go between now and 6.30 when the concert starts. Let's go back to you.